And we're back at Kumui Kotan. Yep, the Latink stage. He must really like those wolves, I don't know. I think it's because he's playing the Warden and he's like fully uh, dressed for the cold. You know, as a European. Hmm. Whiff throw, but uh, not much of a punish for it. Both players a little afraid to go too aggressive right now, trying to feel each other up. There's that crouching C. Yeah, definitely a lot of respect in, uh, being thrown at each character, but uh, that might change as this match gets uh, further along. Latinx is making great use of that Warden running jab. Mm-hmm. Very good hitbox on that. And I think he knows that uh, Yashimaru is kind of a scary character for Warden, and uh, so he's trying to play a little safe there. Oof. Yep, catching him with the Rage uh, Air Fireball. Of course, Light Ice still... Oh, well, spoke too soon. Light Ice is getting a bit... Have, using that uh, standing, standing B a bit much. And knowing what takes, he will land a deflect if he throws that out. Mm -hmm. Well, he was looking for one from Latinx, who also likes to open rounds with uh, attacks, but uh, especially when he's got rage and can just confirm into it. Latinx definitely likes characters who can confirm into rage really, or into uh, weapon flip real easy. You know, Borden, uh, Shiki. Oh. Ooh. Yashimaru with rage. Yep. Disgusting. I love it. Scary character with rage. I love it when I'm not playing against it. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, good controlling of the neutral with that jumping. I think that's jumping B, I want to say. I think so. Yeah, a couple low kicks. Oh, Ooh, there and is. there's the. Yep, Ooh, he had the burst. First. Luckily, I'm not really that afraid, I don't think many people are, of Yashimaru's super. His weapon flipping technique is not exactly one of the stronger ones in the game. Ooh, just going for a grab and uh, Issa. Oh, and he had, a, he had, that usually scales a lot, but he had so little life left that it was fine. Yeah, uh, Yashimaru's weapon flip, it's good for Chip, and yes. um, it's good if someone decides to get brave and try to jump over it it's and better fail. better than Ukyo's weapon flip. It's better than whose? Ukyo's. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen Ukyo's weapon flip in a long time. It used to be better, if I remember. Even early on, I remember it not being very good. It, it kind of serves as a really Ooh. risky anti-fireball tool, and there it is. That won't kill. He's got enough life, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> High explosives. Yeah, they won't kill, but it's uh, it's going to put uh, Light Ice in a real pickle. You know, he's got he's to come back from quite a bit of a deficit, but he's, he's doing it. That's how you want to do it, making bold plays like that deflect. Yep. He doesn't have the uh, advantage of having... Rage burst, unfortunately for him. But well, he does still have the SSM. I don't know if uh, Yashimaru's is any good, but he's got it. I think it's pretty standard as far as I'm aware of, but I might be remembering wrong. It's been a while since I've seen it, which makes me assume it's not particularly anything special. Mm. So yeah, if he can get the Warden to whiff on a uh, grab or something, he can easily catch him with it. But you know, at this point, he the might not have to. to get the timeout. Ooh, ooh, that, ooh. I good didn't even realize. Work. Oh, oh, he said it was. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. He pulled that off. What a universal overhead. You know, one pixel like that magic pixel. And you do not see that too much, I feel, in this game. Like, Samurai Showdown, you're always magic pixel, right? <laughs> yeah, magic pixel is like, you know, 15% of your life bar. <laughs> I described this game to uh, newcomers from Street Fighter as Street Fighter, but you start with. 15% of your life. 
Well, you know on Street Fighter 2, how, like, everything hurts a lot? Yeah? <laughs> well, think, think Bushido Blade. Yeah, super turbo, but everyone does damage like Fei Long and Bison. <laughs> Champion Edition, but everyone does damage like Bison and Ken. Oh, Lord. Although, you guys respecting each other in the neutral. Yep. Fewer touch of deaths in this game. Yeah, you don't see that too often. This isn't uh -oh. uh, five special. Ooh. Yep. There it is. Uh, you can burst out of that, but they have, like, tweaked the timing on it, so... Uh... Plus, if you do burst out of it, like... You don't get a... anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good situation to... Uh, if you've already been guard broken, probably just sometimes worth just taking the round. Yeah. And living to start the next round with rage. Especially if you're uh, Yashimaru, <laughs> who lives and dies by rage. That's definitely true. It makes me wish that the uh, Sapoku mechanic was back. So oh. you can uh, preserve your rage. Oh, yeah. And start the next round fully uh, loaded. Yeah. Uh, five special had some really weird mechanics. That's definitely true. Yeah, oh, that's making good use of Crouching K. Yeah. He's, uh, he's keeping Warden at bay, uh, whittling him down, which is exactly what he wants. Warden is such an explosive character, though. He only really needs, at any time, one good sweep, and there it is. Yep, and now he's going to do his Speak dash of the up. devil and his calipoo. Bad combo, man. Yeah, he doesn't even need the Issa necessarily, oh, but is. he went for it, and... Yeah, that's always a risky play against Latinx, because he is always watching for it. I've hit him with it on occasionally, but definitely not consistently. Yeah. He does not fall for full, even half screen Isen very much. Yeah, there's a reason why he's won most of these over the past uh, couple of months. And he, he understands this game very well. Ooh, and yep. Wow. No way Right off the bat. <laughs> Fire it up. I want to know who's operating that thing. Michael like, Bay. Uh, <laughs> like, if you run over there, does he, like, run over there when the camera's off him yeah. and he's, like, flipping a switch? He's like, yeah, you look at all these anime swords, and nah, Warden's coming straight out of the next Transformers sequel. <laughs> well, catching him with a normal there. For like, honor he... movie. <laughs> You know, Ubisoft did make it. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Okay. Ooh, there it is. I see a lot more anti-air jab. I need to use that personally more often. I don't use it very uh, much in my game plan, and I know it can be very useful. Yeah, uh, some characters have very good anti-air jabs. Ooh. See, if he had not pushed a button, that would have a time, been a time to uh, do an SSM. So that's something that's like... It's tricky to learn, yeah. because generally by the time you see that they've grabbed, you probably already pushed the button to punish. At least for me. There's a lot of fun in this game where you know afterwards that you should have went for SSM, but in the heat of the moment, you weren't really sure, so you went for the safe punish. Yeah. And sometimes you just gotta go for the big money. Absolutely. Especially if you got one of those absurdly ranged SSMs, sometimes you just throw it out. Oh, like Ukyo. Tokyo. <laughs> Warden, uh, uh... Yoshitora. Yep. I think Gongsun the uh, Lee's is pretty big, too. That one is tricky because how you can set up into it off weird stuff, like throw. Mm. Shiki's is, uh, like, tracking full yeah, screen, you, you but, like, that that's very good for, like, whiff punishing. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's playing aggressive, but he's also got that, uh, rage. Not yep. anymore, though. I said he had a jab again. That seems to be key to this matchup for Warden. Oop. And Light Ice, uh, you know, uh, not really getting too many JDs to build meter uh, quicker, but, uh, you know, Yashimaru does not build meter slow anyway, so. And just like that, he's back into rage. Although he's close to being guard broken, so he's gonna have to be careful there. 
the one character I least want to see guard break against is Warden because he can always fake out that heavy slash, so you're not really sure if he's going for it or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Warden is definitely a character that uh, can guard break easy, but he can also be guard broken very uh, That's true. He easily. has to block a lot of stuff that you probably don't want to block. Yeah. Like, his buttons, a lot of his buttons are a little slow, so he's really committing. Ooh, there's a rage okay. burst. Ooh. I'm I not sure if that was intentional or not. I think, yeah, he's he doesn't seem happy with it. I think he might have been trying to, like, range it properly so that it would have been safe and then catch him on the whiff punish. Hmm. But uh, it didn't work for him. It's a lot of running slides in this game. If you uh, space it just right, uh, you'll catch them at the very edge of your toe and you'll recover really before they can do anything. Ooh, good jumping speed. Mm-hmm. And White Ice, uh, you know, he just has to win one more round and or one more match and he will put Latinx into losers. There's a lot of whiffed uh, slashes from these two. Ooh, a little jab there. <laughs> so much jumping in this match, I swear to God. Kamui Kotan's floor is a trampoline. I didn't know we were playing Super Mario. That's probably why Latix plays this stage. Mm. Uh-oh. Yeah. But that's just a bad situation where, you know, you can either get hit by it or you can get hard break by it. Ooh, the trade. The trade worked out for Light Ice. He managed to stay alive. So now he just has to win one more round and he's got this tied up. And the air fireball gives Oof. Yep, Not the... only so much damage, but so much air control. And the air fireball when Rage doing like a little bit of extra there. All right, he just has to watch not to get grabbed or anything right here. Strong anti air. The rage is gone, so Warden is safe-ish to approach. I don't know if Warden's ever truly safe to approach. This yeah. character hits like a truck. Yeah, but at least he's not going to just get you with a stand B and do a weapon flip. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's getting scary. Yep. Oh! I think he went for that trade again, and uh, Warden was quicker. Perfectly ranged. Yashimaru was starting with rage, though, so he's got something. Oh, jumping C again, and a jab. Mm. The aerial pressure loop from Warden. Oh, man. Oh, well, Tinks is very good at using that what looks like it's unsafe and applying it very safely. If yeah. he does not see you anti-airing him, he is going to, you know, put you in the blender. And just like that, you know, Light Ice is near death and uh, Latinx has almost full life. Oh, the punish. Oh, and I think he just won out of perfect, yep. He unlocked a title even. Get those achievements. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 2-2. Two, two. See if Light Ice can uh, bring him down into losers. Yeah, the whole, every time you unlock a trophy, take a shot. <laughs> Good air to air. Mm. There he is again. Yep, Latinx, uh, Latinx seems to have found his, uh, his momentum now. Catching him with a lot of these air to airs and grounded attacks. He's trying to implement the no-fly zone, which is very hard against the Birdman, Yakamaru. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Crow himself. Oh. Oh, very quick uh, double jump. Oh. This time for real, I'm out. All right. All right, so Latinx just really... Uh, Really got uh, a lot of control here. He does not have to go in at this point. He can sort of like try and keep Latinx at range. Or L Light Ice at range, sorry. That's exactly what he's doing with these uh, running A's, trying to catch him with anti-airs. 
Yep. Going for those air heavies, because they're for Warden anyway, they come out really quick and have a gigantic hitbox. The Yashimaru's also quite sizable. Mm. Not quite as fast, though. But now Yashimaru's in rage, and you know, so is Warden, but Yashimaru definitely gets a lot of good utility out of that rage, as we've seen so far. Yeah, and now it's out for both characters. Ooh, a big whiff. I think Light Ice might be uh, trying to get an opening going, but uh, the Tinks is watching for it. Ooh. All right, who's going to blink first? Oh, and that's it. But Tinks is your uh, Sam Show uh, champion once again. Yeah, that's... I've lost count of the weeks. He's, he's won a lot. You know, someone's got to come through, got to help stop him. You know, we've got a very strong scene here in uh, the DMV. Well, Tinks definitely one of our stronger players. Uh, you know, several of our crew went out to Summer Jam last weekend and did extremely well. Uh, first place was a, a DMV uh, Sam Show player. Uh, I'm, I think Dragon Ball might be next 